The problem is unbelief. Ephesians 2 8 says, By grace we are saved through faith. It never came from us. It is a gift of God. Not by what? Lest anyone boast about it. That means we the saved is after receiving the gospel, we received the master seed faith. The faith which is equivalent to the master seed we receive. Oh, And it gave us heaven. Ne kutu wo bo la mo bo ta guawo. Ne kutu so the problem is not faith because faith became a spirit in our lives faith became a spirit in us now so we need to hear the voice of faith in us because the inner man says things are possible but the carnal mind or the soul says that things are impossible so what we need is to deal with unbelief the bible has said in john that in love we are made confident and we are ready to meet the judgment day because complete love casts out fear and fear is the result of unbelief verse 17 said that because in this world we are like him and verse 18 said that there is no fear in love but perfect love drives out fear praise Jesus now in us we have the love we have God God is love in us hallelujah so do not speak if you don't believe if you believe then you have to speak what you believe so if you speak under unbelief you are sowing dead dead seeds hallelujah if you believe then you speak you are sowing perfect seed in the spirit and there is a time of harvest hallelujah where we need faith to be activated is, is where our physical eyes don't see anything good when everything you want is not seen with your physical eyes that's where you need to apply faith the bible says that we don't walk or we don't live by sight but by faith everything you need maybe you haven't seen it <laughs> everything i need i haven't seen it but i speak because i believe that i will have it i believe that's why i speak being silence means that maybe you don't believe but we are speaking under the motivation of faith and we are we are sowing perfect seeds which we are going to harvest tomorrow make sure your utterance does not include any unbelief 
Hallelujah. Even when you don't see anything in the physical, let the eyes of faith see everything. And then speak because you believe what you see with the eyes of faith. If you're sick and you're here, I see your healing in the in the, the spiritual realm. The eyes of faith tells me that Jesus paid for your healing. The eyes of faith tells me that you are rich, not poor. In the eyes of faith tells me that you are called to prosperity. Because you are you don't have money in your pocket, don't do not declare that you are you are broke. At least speak your faith. Faith is not after seeing. Faith is believing what God says you are. If you live according to what you see, you are living as a carnal man. But you got to live as a spiritual man whose spiritual eyes are open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse 13. As the scripture says, let's hear from the Uganda version. 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, and verse 13. Yes, Lord. Mm. Mm. Nayenga tulina omoyo guli ogoku ogoku kiriza. Na kiriza chenava njogera. I believe and so I spoke. Amen. So come out. Amen. Amen. You speak before believing or you first believe then you speak. Because we are seated in anointing. We are not looking for the anointing. Mr. Anointing is joined with us. So we are like him in this world. We are commanding the impossibilities to be possible in the name of Jesus. We are commanding poverty to depart from your life and your future in the name of Jesus. I'm commanding every disease in your life to depart in the name of Jesus. And I declare fire against any unbelief in your heart. The problem is not faith. The problem is unbelief. Do you know that you can have do you know that you can have the two at a go? You can have the two at a go. Yes, you can have faith at the same time you have unbelief. Amen. So now unbelief will kill your faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Your faith in a certain thing. Availability of God's word. You have heard the avail that you have you have heard that the word of God is there. Hallelujah. Amen. You have to respond to the word by faith. So, you wait after uttering and confessing positively towards what God speaks to you. Hallelujah. Amen. Set yourself, I will not speak unless I believe. So I have to speak because I believe what I'm speaking. Where do you get the face which tells you that you're going to die of that disease? 
Yet our menu, the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ was wounded and stricken for your sickness. Hallelujah. So let the disease disappear in your life by faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let poverty disappear in the name of Jesus. May you open your spiritual eyes to see by faith. The present may not be enjoyable right now. But what you see with your spiritual eyes of faith, they are very enjoyable. When you open your eyes, the physical eyes, you may be discouraged. But use your spiritual eyes of faith, you'll be encouraged. It is a matter of time. When the fulfillment of time came, God sent his son into the world who was led by the law. But he came to redeem everybody that was under the law. So in love there is no law. Everything is possible. Impossibility can be changed. In love there is no protocol. Right now as I'm speaking to you the spirit because of love he will change your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mukwa galate muri mu bulombo lombo. Inti kanso ken fidi de koba na ba wanfo ba ba de gavu ya fidi la bona. Ya kubi we miko kuwa bona. So you must believe then you speak. If you don't believe anything, don't say anything. Don't declare anything. Because you will have given the platform to the devil. I believe the devil. I believe the devil. God is here to heal. God is here to give us. God is here to give us. Satan 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 is here to give us. Ato inobu sobo zobo kufuna ebi intuwe ino kufuna. How is your utterance? How is your utterance? Where do you see yourself? How do you declare upon yourself? You are the prophet of your life. You are the prophet of your future. You are the prophet of your children. How do you prophesy? Faith came to help you. And faith is the result of God's word. In that situation, you have an option of faith that where things are imposed by declare possibilities. Where diseases have manifested itself, I declare healing. Where poverty is, I declare your wealth and riches. Because by faith, everything is possible in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Echizimba chino kuona mulinyari ya Yesu. Amanyi kegamua gawo nya omutwe. Amanyi kegamua gawo nyo rubuto. Amanyi kegamua gawo nye bigere. Amanyi kegamua gazimbe nyumba. Amanyi kegamua gonge za kapito. Amanyi kegamua goku kiliza. It's up to you to believe. Oh, to dive in unbelief. Hallelujah. Amen. So unbelief is the problem. I want you to read for me in the book of Matthew chapter 17 and verse 14. 
17:14 Matthew We are like Jesus in this world We are Christ like Where Jesus is we are there We walk where he walks We move where he moves Hallelujah Jesus is untouchable we are untouchables Jesus is obedient we are obedient Hallelujah Jesus is ways and so we are Hallelujah Amen. you can read for us Mm Mm Nice Mm Mm. Nice. Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Never tell you that. Never What was Jesus' response? Yes, Nadam Nadam. Ah, uh, yes, Mukama face ye was the way. I know Mana Wenga when you are when you know. He had his son who has suffered for the Lord. Oh, Messiah, you are so Omusajjo ne yaino kukiriza. Hallelujah. Na yaba igizwa tebali na kukiriza. Omusajjo na gamba. Kamutwali de Yesu. Let me take my son to Jesus. Na nyonyola Yesu. And explain to him. Na mugamba. And said to Jesus. Banga dene nga mulwadde. For so long has been suffering with this. Yalwala yalwala ekirwadde kino kimusula muliro. He has been suffering with this and has been always following into fight. Mukama afeba siwe. Nagenza komu tuwari yaba higi zote baso wode kumuonya. I tried to take him to your disciples, but they failed to heal him. Hallelujah. Amen. Omanye chiruade wechiba anga chimaze banga mbulamu womu untu. You know when that disease has, uh, has taken a long time in the life of someone. Ama antu ama singa chito kukiriza kwa abwe. To most of the people it is posed their faith. Elomu tu wafuna report na manyante chintu chimaze miaka chiti okuvobu to. And the moment someone gets that report and says that how long that has taken Someone said, "Different said that from child." Someone might even say that this is it is a generation whatever. Fena chituruma. It it affects all of us. Na ye wa yes. But to Jesus. Oba chimaze mi akemeka. How long that? No matter how long it takes. Oba chia family. Whether it's of the family. Oba wazali wana cho. Whether we are born with this. E wa yes. To Jesus. E wa yes. To Jesus. E wa yes. E wa yes. Shifu kubo tali imu. Ewa Petero. Ngata na waku kula. Ngata na waku ambala yes. Nga yes tu na waku ingi la mumu oyo. Chira vikange chita soboka. Ewa ya kubo techi soboka. Ewa Paulina techi soboka. Ewa nyindo za vive techi soboka. Ewa kafero techi soboka. Na yewa Yesu Oba wazari wanacho Echo chifa wo mulinyari ya Yesu Christo Mana katono mula Ewa Yesu Bulichibuchi inzika Omusaja na wa report Yazari wanacho Chifude mubuto Abwensimbo Nageze zako baganye Tata nze jori Yegwe chakudamu Yegwe solution Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus was putting the same body like yours and mine, he had a very good relationship with the Father. And he believed that the Father can hear him wherever he calls. And he believed that he believed God without any unbelief. We remember Jesus when he visited the, the, uh, where they had buried Lazarus. As a human being, he cried. But he used the eyes of faith. 
to see what God can do in the midst of people and by the voice of faith he spoke to the father and said that daddy I know that you always answer me whenever I call do you really know that whenever you call God answers you are you confident that whenever you call the father he hears your cry <laughs> now we have come to call upon the Lord we have come to speak under the motivation of faith hallelujah Amen. so when I tell people to start speaking to God other people start crying and complaining Jesus said way before the, 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 the grave of Lazarus when he was given an opportunity to speak to the father he said daddy I thank you because you always hear me whenever I call you <laughs> hallelujah so if you are confident that whenever you call him he answers your call your problem is temporarily in your presence your problem is temporarily you are temporarily broke set yourself set yourself speak to yourself that Ivan that Ivan you are temporarily broke <laughs> hallelujah you are temporarily sick never admit to that situation because whenever you call him he answers your call he's not intimidated by the period of time he is not intimidated by how many years you have taken with that problem. He operates where people don't expect. As long as there is the presence of faith in him. Faith is the movement which brings Jesus into manifestation. Hallelujah. Amen. Faith is that vehicle that brings God in his sovereignty to work and operate in your life. By the power of the name Jesus, everything that is negative in your life is temporarily there in the name of Jesus hallelujah Amen. hallelujah yes ne bamuletera omwana omwana yali atawanyizibwa nyo you were so much trouble what did jesus say and what did jesus do one jesus rebuked their unbelief he rebuked their unbelief because god is alive God is faithful, but what has hindered us is unbelief. You believe and doubt. You believe and doubt. We have to live a life of faith. We are the enemies of unbelief. We are the enemies of fear. We are the enemies of impossibilities. Where are we stay? impossibilities must be possible in the name of Jesus it is the matter of time what I declare upon your life tomorrow you are going to testify in the name of Jesus if only you can walk with me in faith you see things happening the way you never expected before